Hello. Okay. I, I've i never messed with my settings. And it's like for some weird reason, my mic was like totally shut off or something. It was selecting something else. So anyways, once again, I uh, hope everyone's having a great week, weekend. Uh, this is off to a great start. Um, like I was saying before, you know, while I was muted, uh, my couple of weeks or so was uh, crazy stupid. Um, if I wasn't working, I was sleeping, maybe eating occasionally. So yeah, it was, it was one of those crazy times. So that's the reason why I've been away from streaming for a while. Ugh. I'm really hoping, you know, I really, I mean, I understand, you know, I, I, I have to like, if I really want to do this, I have to put the time in and whatnot. Uh, but it's kind of hard to like balance, you know, because I have to work to be able to pay for the everything else and for the family or in what. And I'm really wanting to get into this because I, I was like, I really like it, you know. I, was, I wasn't really planning on, like, you know, doing the steady stream thing, you know. Um, I was just doing the streaming because I like gaming. So I was figured one. So this is, it, it's become really fun for me, you know. I just like talking to people. I never really stop by. That's so, all right. So what are we doing today? Or tonight, uh, we are um, taking a look at. Uh, I'm going to show you some additions. I've I've been very busy with the building, 
Town Sanctuary, which from what I understand it's gonna get white soon. <laughs> I'm I'm dying inside. But apparently we are supposed to get like a magic uh blueprint that has like, you know, the structure and then all the materials with it, so all I have to do is like just pop it down. The one use uh, blueprint. Uh, hopefully that's it. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to make, you know, as soon as it happens, I'm gonna try to make my way here, grab my piece of land again, and then uh, go back to work. So, all right. Um, so what are we doing? Uh, checking out the new, uh, the additions to the building. We're gonna take a look at the hauler I built. Um, we're gonna add, a, we're gonna add, uh, do a little more building on it. And then we're going to do some uh, Lewis scripting. Get ready for that. I'm going to show you basically uh, the steps, the basic steps to go through to where uh, you or anyone would be able to actually do this. So, get to it. First, chocolate covered coffee bean, espresso coffee. Oh, I love these things. My daughter hates them, but that's good for me because I got them all. Mm -hmm. ah. All right. So I've added another 3D printer. I've added another uh, glass furnace. Okay. I've added this. This is going to be the landing bay for the ships and whatnot. And on top of here, after I lay it all out, this is where the, you know, the base is, uh, the housing and stuff like that. Um, where I'll have like a room for like a server room where I'll be, I, you know, I'll have links downstairs to where the, the item cache, you know, the, the item boxes are. And I'll have screens up that'll, you know, show how much is in what box and stuff like that. It's going to work. It's it's coming along nicely. Work in progress. Um, I got these. I'm gonna. I got. I cut out this groove. I'm gonna put lights down this way. You know, to kind of have like a you know lighting for the landing pad and stuff like that. Pretty nice. Um, still got that there. I think I'm gonna keep that there. Kind of like a welcome office or something like that. But yeah, I got the beams here. Of course, this entire structure is being held together by the densest material in the universe as a uh, one uh, <laughs> uh, one column balanced very carefully I was off one inch everything would topple over that's one thing about the game you know you know it, it pays a lot of attention you know when you're flying and whatnot some of the you know the physics and whatnot to that but as far as like building goes <laughs> I could have used a glass column and just, you know, just because actually I wouldn't even need a column, just have it out. This and those dirty like God help me if they actually add the physics for that in because the, everything would just go <laughs> rip. <laughs> yep. I got this ship here. It's gonna be my hauler. Um at uh little front windshield going on underneath you know i got another little if you look under here is a little little something underneath to be able to see what's under me brakes i've got huge the big the medium uh rocket thrusters for that low altitude uh lift to help me get up and out um these are gonna i'm using the big ones here pointed you know towards the front or for braking because braking in space is very important <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll explain why in a little bit. Um, so I got these little thrusters here, for my space thrusters, and I got the atmosphere, Atmo ones. And then I got my ailerons and I got the back door. Little item box here. I'm going to add a couple more, you know, because I'm going to want to carry a lot of stuff. Um, you know, when I'm traveling back and forth between plants and I got a hole. All right. It's uh, filling the, fill the blanks. Uh. There we go. All right. Um, anyways, so that was planned. 
Okay, so basically you got the, the chair here, and then I got um, nice little, nice. I was gonna add like some more stuff through. Uh, a little door. I was gonna like make, a, you know, do look, make like an automatic door. Not like super fancy, but I, I like it. And it is fast in the in the atmosphere. It does like uh, 700, 700 clicks, kilometers. I think it's kilometers. I think they don't gauge by miles per hour. They do uh, kilometers per hour. And also underneath, I have a nice sized. Uh, um, again. Uh, you don't know a vertical booster. <laughs> hover. I got a medium. I got like four uh, hub, you know, hover engines. I got some small ones. Then I got the large one down here. I got some landing gear on the bottom. Air brakes on the bottom. I got an air brake, two air brakes on. Top. I have my adjusters spread out. Very important to have your adjusters spread out because when you're flying, you know, in space, though they uh, keep your ship. Uh, they keep your ship flying straight, you know, or it may help you turn faces. And the, and then also an atmosphere. So we got that. Um, I need to build uh, a telemetry gizmo. We're going to do that real quick. And so another tip, uh, if you're wondering, like, what can build what? You know, can I just build everything with my nano pack, which almost except like the larger stuff and the high end stuff. So if you actually want to fill out like like right now on top of my head. I don't know what I need to actually what can actually build a telemetry box. So I'm going to hit K. That's going to bring up the crafting and I'm going to click turn off a uh, nano crafter only. I'm just going to type in telem and there's the telemetry uh, telemeter. So I want to find out. So basically, it says craftable and assembly line extra small. Okay. So we're going to go here, my extra small one. It's a P. Bye. What we need. Oh, uh, uncommon laser chain. Oh, yeah. One was already built. Hmm. Kind of like interesting. I'm pretty sure a glass furnace. Uncommon laser chain. Oh, full. Ooh, I guess we, we can actually build one. One. That's going to take like four minutes. Uh, get back to this one. It's always a good idea just to have, you know, you know, whenever you're like gathering mats and stuff and you're making stuff, you always want, um, you know, your common ore that you dig out. You always want it, you know, into the pure. Was one I'd always be processing that. 
So we're going to switch over to a minimum minimum minimum. Minim. to play a transfer anything. But it's just basically waiting on that. Oops, I need uh, uncommon optics now. Because apparently it takes uncommon optics to make a common laser chamber. If this is the one I haven't like hooked up to everything yet, because I know I have all sorts of glass. I got. What are you hooked up? Everything but the box. I can only take the input. Oh, because I've already used all the, the plugs for this one to get for all my other stuff. Okay. Um, so I can move some of the stuff. Like half season. But we need like uh, half the glass. What else we need? Um, basic LEDs, uncommon. Oh, basic fixation. I'm actually getting uh, past 10 o'clock. I'm actually guzzling down a Coke and I'm drinking, I'm eating a chocolate covered espresso bean. Who wants to take on odds on how quick, how soon my heart will explode? <laughs> it's so good, it's worth it. There it is. You know, I would like, um, I would like to be able to see how many plugs I have left in like an object. You know, the plugs, yeah, basically when I say plugs, I mean the connections you have between like uh, devices. Um, it'd be really nice.
So that one's cooking. Oh, which one are you hooked up to? <sighs> Output is actually <laughs> where it's got all the other stuff in it. Yep, we're Gucci. Let's go. We just need one. <laughs> Almost like six minutes. Have that too quick. Whoops, I thought I. So once this is done, I will show you the scripting. There's a really cool script that out there that uh, does a really nice job with uh, changing the HUD. Makes the HUD look so much better. I might have it's there's um, you know when I create a when I clip this clip this to you know when I make this in a YouTube video, the Lua scripting part. I'll add some links uh, to where I you know where you can find it. I'm really wanting to like make a repository for you know for all the scripts and whatnot. GitHub is a nice place to do it. You can go to I'll I'll show you what I mean when I say GitHub. Um, how do you can look for like all the different scripts? Oh, well, that's going off. I'm uh, thinking. Trying to run stuff. Being out there. Ah, the most exciting part of the dual universe. Uh, apparently, eventually, we're supposed to actually get, you know, the machinery or whatnot we can make. That'll make, uh, that'll actually do the mining for us. <laughs> Please put that in the next patch. Update, whatever, whatever. Looks like we were actually close to uh, another material we can definitely use. Is all we can use all types. Actually bought a load of bauxite at the market earlier, earlier today. I really don't want to have to buy my minerals unless I absolutely have to, which I actually have. There we go. 
getting farther. At least the you know the mining is faster now than the, than what what it was. It was dragging. It was like some time where just like one you know one dig would like take a few minutes. That's can That's just that was cancer. <laughs> it was just so awful having to wait for that. I was like, no. Turn the music up here. Put the music while I'm digging. There's the tunnel I made. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can actually see other like another the other planet. <laughs> oh god, that's cool. Oh my god. That's I wanna see more. There's my there's my building. Probably shouldn't do that too much. I know that I'm gonna to have to join an organization soon because I'm not gonna be able to. It's it's gonna be be pretty much. I'm guessing if this is gonna if this does keep evolving, things keep getting better. You know the improvements, they add more stuff. This will uh, be very uh, Eve online like. <laughs> I hope it's not. I don't. I hope it's not. It doesn't get as toxic, but. We really can't get around that. So, when I say that is, as a solo player in EVE Online, sorry, let me turn down the music a little bit. So, as a solo player, solo player on EVE Online, um, what was I doing? This way? Um, you you really can't survive as a solo player on the online. Um, there's, <laughs> I mean, the, the, so many groups, so many uh, yeah, people, you know, and the corporations and stuff like that. You're trying to do anything like. There's always somebody. There's always a group waiting for you. Good be. It's good to have numbers. Okay. And I'm guessing this may eventually be like that. 
you know, for like resource gathering, security, especially in the PvP area. It's gonna get, it's gonna, it's gonna get intense. That's, 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 and unfortunately, that's the fun part. And I like that part. It's gonna be great. Right now, I'm just like, just trying to get my own little corner notched out, and then after that, we'll be about joining. Okay. Oh. I've also added, you know, trained uh, my skill up and uh, you know, my, my scanning. out of range of my container. I think it's like 124 meters is when. Yep, there it goes. Called it, 124. I wonder if there's like a skill, something you... Gotta go up. Gotta go up anyways. You know, if there's like a skill you can train that can increase the range. I'll have to look, look for that. Oh, there we go. What do we got? Uh, I'm gonna guess coal. I can tell you right now, coal. I'm not complaining, but. Take what we can get. this out and then dump it off to our main container. We'll have to go up a little higher so we can reestablish the link, but I'll dump it off. Definitely fell down now. Where's the? I lost, lost the entrance. <laughs> what do I do with it? Go. I have to. have to go too far. Think right there. Alright. Two link continue. Down. Clean out the rest of these.
that's not it. All right, cleaned it out. Let's go ahead and head back up. Do as well do the scripting. Had a cut a path to the other tunnel going up. It'll be a lot easier than having to pick something new. Because that, yep, that's it. Yep, yep. to find I think somebody or somewhere there's a you know the actual date of the the beta the, the beta wipe That's a lot of silicone. this place is the bad word and my OCD is not going to let me leave it there I got to have it centered <laughs> So um, I'm going to start here. This is basically uh, prep to uh, basically get the script to work, especially this one. First thing you want to do is link. Uh, let me let me turn the volume down a little more. So what you're going to want to do is we're going to uh, you're going to want to link uh, your uh, gyroscope and your telemeter to your seat. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to six I have to run the long way 
go through this mess of lines. <laughs> and then we're just going to link it here to the sea. Done. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our gyroscope in this. I've already done it. Yeah, so there's already a line going to it. Got that going. We don't. Yes. We, okay, we're all right. So and we got our fuel tanks, we got our gyroscope, we got her hooked up. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that lines, good lord. Um trying to open up a pilot. Right click, go to it. We're going to go to edit. So, this is the Lua editor for uh, Dual Universe. So, let's just step back for a second. Let me explain to you what Lua is. Lua is a scripting, like a, is a script code uh, for programming, uh, kind of like HTML, you know, for web pages. Lua's been around for quite some time. And it's it, it, it's really it it does take some effort to wrap your head around you know how it, how you know how functions and and other things work with it and how to you know put things where it needs to go in the you know in your code and everything to make it work like it's um, it's 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 not as like you know fluid or smooth as JavaScript. Um, there's there's some tricks to it. You have to always remember. Um, for you know people who are non-programmers out there, I'm not going to go into major details because then you'll just you won't follow or anything like that. Or me, you may you may follow, uh, but I really don't want to go into too much of the details. Um, I will say that it took me quite some time to wrap my head around it. Lua is also uh, the script used for um, the add-ons for World of Warcraft, so I do have some background with that. So thankfully I got that there. So you got uh, Lua was basically the code people used to write on all the add-ons like uh, boss mod and uh, you know bag on uh, any add-on for World of Warcraft. It was written in Lua. So so basically what we're going to do here is the first thing we're we're going to do we're going to go to here. We're going to run the custom auto configure and is that what we need to do I'm going to legacy alpha three something Oh, run default auto configure, my bad. Flying construct, so we're just going to do that. Then it's basically what that's going to do is that sets the code, the default cookie cutter block code to make your ship fly. You have to do that. Um, that basically just resets it, makes sure everything's back to like factory set. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in here. I'm going to go to advanced. And then we're going to go to edit Lua script. And then your unit. Um, sorry, it's been a while. Um, what's up? Now this is the code, this is actually Lua that you're seeing on my screen here. This is the code that someone that a person wrote, um, Ivan, <laughs> and he wrote Fancy HUD Lua, which when I make the uh, the YouTube video, I'll have a link to where this is, uh, where you can download it. So he, he was kind enough to leave instructions of what you need. So he says here, you need several things to make this work. Uh, for the default auto configure on the seat, make, uh, make sure you select pilot flying construct, which is uh, make sure your telemeter is on the ship, which we did. We make sure the gyroscope is on the ship and hooked up to the seat. And we also need, and the slot is named telemeter and gyro, which it is. Um, paste this code into the unit start after, you know, you start filter after the auto config code. So we'll do that here. 
to control A, control C, and then we're looking for unit start. So what that means is we're going to look for unit start, then here's all the code. This is the default code. You need to keep this in here. You don't want to change any of this. This is basically for uh, this is uh, that radar and everything else works. We're going to go here to the bottom, do a space, and I like to uh, uh, add quotes or notes, notes uh, to code whenever I'm adding something new or you know it's an important block in the code. So what I'm going to do is dash dash. And that basically says that tells the, the script that this is his, this is just a, some some gibberish I'm writing down, just some notes of what. Ivan code. Space. We're gonna hit enter to go down one space. Control V, and there you go. So now we got this, and you're maybe wondering. What is what what this what you know what all this is this is just some extra code you make to change the uh, look and the how it performs and adds a couple of bars and what your uh, piloting hut which we'll see here in a little bit um, this stuff right here or let me go actually to the editor the editor okay so this stuff right here go down a little bit is html this is what uh this is uh what you know this gives it its its look how it looks you know the color uh the font you know the size of it and stuff like that that you're seeing this determines that this is for the fuel and down here uh, this is for the fuel as well uh, for your tanks and whatnot um this is probably space yeah this is the spit for one for your spaces this one here's for your atmo uh throttle this one tells you you know the the you know throttle type is travel cruise okay so travel and cruise this one sets what your what it you know we'll we'll look at it here in a little bit this is you'll see where you'll see you know cruise and travel actually on the hud but this is it this determines how you know how it looks you know, and this right here, <laughs> uh, this actually, believe it or not, this actually draws uh, the the actual image on your screen. You just can't really uh, use, you know, uh, you can, but uh, you're wanting like dynamic um, images and stuff like that. You have to kind of like lead, you know, do this, which is math, a lot of maths. <laughs> um, to basically draw, draw it on your screen so you can it that's what all this junk is and then the rest here is just code to basically you know wrap it up to put in little you know functions and everything else to say okay this does this this does that this goes here this goes here. so now we got it all here um and this also um as you can see um you know colors so if you're wanting to like change the color of what it looks like you can come in here and look for like uh, you know the the different X colors. So you can actually go online, look up a uh, you know a X color system, and you could change the color of the border or anything else. Come in here and do that yourself. Yeah. And then uh, also right here. that. Now I wouldn't change anything else unless you really know what you're doing. But you can come in here and you know tweak some of the colors and stuff like. That. So next we're going to uh, do. Uh, no, no, we're going to. There's some other instruction. All right, so paste this code into the unit start after the autoconfig code. Add a tick filter to unit with the name of HUD. So let's do that next. Tick filter. <coughs> I'm gonna name it Get HUD. It's like that. And then what's the next bit of instruction? 
and the tick filter paste this. So what that means is what that's telling to do. Why is it doing that? It's coming down here and it's saying you need to update the HUD and it wants to have us paste this. Artificial horizon up on update. So to break that down and what that does is, is that says uh, for every few seconds, milliseconds, um, update how the HUD looks. When it turns, you know, you got the, the heading and whatnot, the, uh, the fuel gauge and stuff like that. So this tells it to update one hundredth of, of, of a tick. Now, a tick is basically, uh, you know, you, your frames per second, stuff like that. A uh, tick is, a, is basically kind of like a, another word for a uh, frame, also, kind of. Tick is basically the response between you, the seconds, you know, between you and the server. You can understand. So this is saying every hundredth of a second, update the frame. So, you know, you get that really fancy, you know, it looks really fluid when it's moving around. If I set this to one, that means it would only update once per frame, which will look kind of blocky, you know. A server tick uh, basically, um, you know, or client tick basically means is like a measurement of time between like uh, send and receive and responses. It really doesn't have like anything much to do with frames per second. It's basically how that how it's measured is when it is super technical. Detail. So we're going to uh, take this, back to what we're doing, and then we're going to go back. going to our little update. That. That's it. That should do it. That's. So this is the first time I'm doing this. I haven't done it before. This is totally, I mean, you know, I've read the instructions, so this should be, should be forward. We're gonna go back in here, we're gonna click apply. And if this works, you'll see a different HUD and this should look hopefully pretty cool. Close the door. An error, we should see. Oh, we got a script. I did something. Sorry, my life. Wait, why am I why am I upside down? I'm pretty sure I wasn't upside down when I started this. What was I doing upside down? I don't get it. I'm confused. <laughs> what was I doing I believe that? So let's take a look, see what I did wrong. So uh, edit little script, unit. I row, zero. Oh, I wonder. Wonder if this doesn't have the telemeter on, telemetry box on. I don't see the name. I mean, it looks. PVP capacity zero up. Oh my god. Um, that's an interesting PVP capacity. See that on the right there? 
for this chair. PvP capacity zero of uh, twelve thousand five hundred. What am I? Um, advanced. Edit Lewis script. Plot. Bet you that is the the. So oh, I need to change the name. I think I might have goofed there. I goofed. All right, <clears throat> so it needs to be paste the code. Pick filter. Yeah, we got the pick. There we go. Look at that. Oh my god, that looks awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I'm I'm literally breaking apart here. Why is it? Why is it freaking out? What's it doing? Hold on. Let me see where we're where it's. Why am I upside down again? Upside down, I don't understand. Why is it? I think I might have done something wrong here. <laughs> I'm upside down again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. I think I know what I did wrong. It's the gyro. I gotta I gotta reposition it. That's that's great. Okay. <laughs> So let's see what we got here. Uh, oof. It'll be very important to have facing. Got that bad boy there. There we go, much better. Okay. I like that HUD. I like that a lot. You can see your gas tanks over there. The take a look at the coppice works. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. Oh, and then the you got the the green bar. Gosh, this is nice. Oh gosh. Frames per second. There goes my frames. Frames are tanking. 
Don't care. I have a cool compass. I have a cool uh, HUD now. We're looking good. We're styling. Look at that. So I'm going to cut back on my throw. Put some reverse thrust on. We're going to hit the brakes. Come on. Stop. I probably need to like put some rockets like just to you know be able to okay, forget it. <laughs> probably too many things. <sighs> okay, so I need uh like rockets. I guess I'm gonna need some jets like like I have these two here except I need them pointing up. I can like you know use them to balance myself out and stuff. Oh. Cool. So what do I have for in like money? Huh? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to head to the market, buy some stuff. In the air. And I've got to close the door. That's fine. Boy, the frames per second is frames is like dropping like a hmm. Of course I'm also like traveling like five hundred and twenty six kilometers an hour. Plus, I was wanting to buy some more, um, some more containers anyway. So you know that code I told you about that math, all those numbers and everything. That's what this it's this is what I'm talking about. You know, you see the bar updating left and right. That that's basically kind of what that's for. It's to you know so you'll it'll constantly draw to the screen because it's actually you know constantly drawing right now. You may not see it because it's actually, but uh, the code is constantly drawing all this stuff, this telemetry and everything, constantly to the screen that's updating it you know the numbers and the speed and the bar you know the constantly updating it and it could also be possible that this is the, the script is also the reason why I, I'm 
kind of blocky right now because it is you know constantly updating right now so maybe it i may have to bring it down a little bit so it's like i'm gonna have to see if i i'm gonna update the script a little bit just the timing and then we'll uh see if that if the, my frames right First, we have to land. All right, back in the cockpit. Pull for the break. Was that any any landing you can walk away from is a good landing? Close the door. Oh, somebody just bounced off. Whoa, okay. <laughs> somebody just bounced off the planet. <laughs> That's so what we're needing is we're needing ooh, look at all he's got his air brakes is kinda like, you know, drill the fins. Very nice design. Really good. Uh, I'm gonna go element, element. I would like to buy some more bauxite. Hmm. 
Ooh, I wonder if somebody's anybody selling a <laughs> Wow, somebody actually is. Huh. Dance free. Somebody's just selling for like, selling it for like the mill. I can make my own transfer yet. That's all I need. Uh, and a nice little hover. Bye. Oh, jets. So. Oh, I didn't grab them from the market uh, inventory. Oh, God. Now I got to go all the way back. I mean, I do get why some why it might be a good idea to have the marking container, but when I buy it, I'd like for it to go directly to. My... I'm just complaining. This, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my. I like it. Oh, dude. Uh, fringe exoplanet cartel. Your freedoms are now negotiable. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. This is. This is Whoa. Look at that big mammoth jam out there. That's a. Base? That's a flying base out there. Look at that. The flying platform, literally. People are like getting their, you know, their default uh, hovercrafts and they're tweaking it out. Atmospheric flight. This is pretty nice. This is the one that was like standing up before. It's like that one right over there. Got some small, you know, small landing gear. Pretty cool. Yeah, he has his jets, you know, pointed so it can actually, you know, turn pretty quick and whatnot. And he's got it tilted down, which is really nice. You know, it's not straightforward. He's got it kind of like down at an angle. Nice. I like the design. There's the rocket booster just to get you, you know, into out of the atmosphere. Well done. Okay. Oh, and there goes the guys with the, the, the big hovercraft boat. <laughs> Forward, though, that's what I'm wondering. I mean, I see, like, you're... Oh, there goes somebody flying up that way. All right. All right. 
B. Where are we going to put this back? New talent unlocked. Oh, gotta lay my other contender down. Oh, so, got two extra. Lots of room. Lots of room. thought about got these guys here I have a little door Laura my Making sure it's up to spec. Use like two more of these. In fact, I probably use these because I mean I have like four big at big engines. So probably what I need to do is have these like help with my.
Everything's very confused right now. So we have two for uh, but I'm turning in the We'll get two more. Let's see what we got after that. Hey, didn't forget this time. Ha! Ah, wait. Got 190. Could have got a thousand. Almost left without it again. Place this bad boy. Let's turn red. That's not. underneath see how we hover now uh. Actually, able to ourselves.
little flyby of people's housing and whatnot. See what they got. What's this? Got a base. Yeah. Man, when I first came on, there was like no buildings anywhere. Mine was like the only one straight out this way. And after that, they just started popping up everywhere. Pretty cool. I'm glad we're, I'm glad we're getting more people in the game. Pretty fun. I like, I, I love building. Always have. Or something. I like the fact that now I can actually, you know, look at my look at the look at the, the you know dashboard and actually see if I'm actually level or not. And tomorrow we will take our first. Throttle back, but then we're going to go down. Get up a little bit, going to go back to. Reverse thrust. Then reverse thrust. That was a lot better landing now that I actually have like some control over it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to get good enough to be able to pilot to get, be able to get on my landing pad without me having to do this every time. Work in progress. Always a work in progress.
Oh, storage capacity again. Stuff around. So well, that'll go a few rounds. Uh, basically, what I'm hoping to do is have enough to eventually make honeycomb material for uh, finishing up my roof. Let that go. I'm gonna call it a night for a little bit. I'm gonna take a little break, lunch on a little something. I'm uh, I was able to, you know, get some stuff done. So basically, what we did was we um, finished up uh, putting some stuff on uh, the new hauler. Uh, then uh, I walked uh, through on how to apply a Lua script, uh, which changed our uh, flight HUD, which really cool now um i'll probably be, i'll be doing some other ones later on and they're basically all the same of how you do it you know if like you find another one that changes the hud uh you'll basically want still want to do it the same way i did before so that was pretty cool and we got working so really nice and uh, now we can actually you know see you know how you know whether we're flying level or not we, you know compass is running the fuel tanks and everything throttle it looks it, it's really nice i'm, I'm really pleased with uh it's really good so and we took our test flight with uh, the hauler and it was great tomorrow we're going to take it to another planet we're gonna go space flying we're gonna we're gonna go to another planet all right thanks for watching the stream hope you enjoyed it i'll be uh clipping some stuff together for a youtube video on a basic how-to uh, for the lewis scripting and whatnot hope you're having a great weekend hope you have a great week coming up Stay safe. I'll see y'all again.